Good morning. It's Monday morning again. Today is Monday, December 7th, and our topic is peace. And I think it's pretty interesting that a discussion on peace comes on the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. On December 7th, 1941, the world was at war. The U.S. had not yet thrown in to the war effort. And there were differing opinions on whether the U.S. should or should not participate in this. And that was the decisive blow in Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. That was the 9-11 of my parents' generation. And it's a day to remember that peace comes at a cost, at a price. So how do we talk about peace? How do we find peace in such a day and in such a time? We are not in the grips of a world war at the moment, but we are in the grips of a world pandemic. And we're getting tired. We're getting restless. We have a lot of grief. The holidays are afoot, and what do we do with all the turmoil? Even in non-pandemic times, in the best of times, when I work with people, I often hear, I just want peace. I just want peace in here. And that's good. We have to want it in here first, because we're never going to accomplish peace in our world until we first accomplish it within ourselves. You can't have a warring spirit or a split or divided spirit and try to make peace. It just doesn't work. So how do we work on ourselves and find peace? How can we take a breath, shut out the chaos and find some peace? Well, there are two important tips right there. Take a breath. When you feel the anxiety coming on, just stop what you're doing. Breathe in for four beats. Hold it, that breath for four beats and exhale for four beats. And just focus on the breath. That will help in the short term, in the moment, to calm anxiety, to bring you into the moment. Often we are not at peace because we are living in a way that is not true to ourselves. We are living with an idea of who we should be or what we should be or what we could be rather than who and what we are in the moment. So finding peace begins with an honest assessment of ourselves. Who are you right now? We don't escape childhood without getting the message that we're not enough. We're not good enough, tall enough, strong enough, smart enough, quick enough, intelligent enough. Somehow we're not enough. And I don't believe our parents want us to get that message, but it's just part of growing up. We internalize so many things. And one of those things we internalize is that we're lacking or we're not enough. And we try to live up to the expectations of others or even the expectations of ourselves that we, that we put upon us. And that can lead to times of anxiety and not having peace within. So the first thing, if you want to have inner peace, love yourself as you are. Forgive yourself for not meeting all the expectations everyone has heaped upon you in your life, including yourself. Forgive yourself for being imperfect. You are never designed to be perfect. Focus on being faithful. Connect to God. There's a biggie. Connect to God. Forgive yourself. And learn to love yourself now. Those three things. 
forgive yourself. Love yourself just as you are and connect to God. Because I will tell you now, God ridiculously loves and values you just as you are. So many people I hear all the time, well, I need to get my life together and then I want to come to church. God, yeah, work on getting your life together, but use God. God is waiting to help you. God wants you to be the best version of yourself you can be, but God loves you now. God loves that hot mess that you are right now. So just sit in that for a moment. Sit with that. You're loved, ridiculously loved and valued, just as you are right now. You don't have to be more. Just sit and know that God loves you and forgive yourself for all of the expectations and all of the things you've tried to put on yourself. And that's the beginning of finding peace. Once you find peace in here, then you can start making peace in this world. And we need that. We need a lot of that. We have been at odds with COVID, with the election, with injustice that's running rampant in our world. There are so many things that have been disruptive in this year, and we've lost so much. But folks, we can find peace in the middle of the storm. We can. Jesus calms storms. When the disciples were out in a boat and it was storming, Jesus came near and that was all that was needed. Jesus was with the disciples on the boat once, sound asleep in the midst of the storm. They all figured they were dying. And there's Jesus laying there asleep. And he just, they woke him up and said, do you not care? We're all going to die here. And Jesus said, why are you afraid? Tell the storm to be still. Storm, be still. And it was. Focus on the moment. If you have a crushing to-do list that has you anxious, accomplish something. Make your bed when you get up in the morning. Accomplish that. Go throughout the day and accomplish something. Soon you will find that you're an achiever. And mindset, my friends, is everything. Stop punishing yourself for being less than and get the mindset of, how you are loved, that you are valued, that you are enough, and begin there. And you'll be amazed at how your life can change. So yeah, the world may be a mess. The world is chaotic. We can't solve the world, but we can solve and address the battles going on in here. So I encourage you to do that. And if you want assistance with that, or if you want to partner in that journey, reach out to me. I would love to walk with you, to partner with you in that journey. And if you find these tips helpful, if you think this would benefit somebody, please share this with whoever you think could benefit from it. Comment below on how you find peace or what causes you anxiety. And let's, as a community of folks, help each other walk through these times. So I want for all of you an abundance of spirit. So this week, find peace. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll help you. Bye for now, friends.